the, the plus equal minus uh, basically says that at any point in your life, you should have three people in your life. Um, you should have someone that is a plus, and that's simply someone that's already traveled the road that you're heading down. You know, for for you all that are in the coaching fraternity, this might be someone that's been coaching a little bit longer. Uh, if you're a high school coach, but you uh, aspire to being a college coach, then maybe it's someone that's already in college coaching. But somebody that's already traveled the road that, that you're heading down that can uh, offer some insight and some wisdom and, and hopefully give you some things to help you sidestep some of the landmines and, and maybe not make some of the same mistakes they made. Uh, another person you need to have in your life uh, is an equal. Uh, and this just needs to be a peer. Uh, this is somebody that's, that's trying to go to the same place you are and they're at about the same level you are at present where you can exchange ideas, um, you can talk about successes and things that are going well, uh, you can, in a very healthy way, vent about some of the challenges and things that are tough for you. Um, and then the last is finding what we would call a minus. And I don't say that in a diminishing way, but finding someone that's maybe a few years behind you, uh, someone that's, that's trying to travel the path that you've already traveled, where you can send the elevator back down for them and you can reach a handout to try and help them and teach them in the same way that your plus is teaching you. And, and, and one of the great parts about having these three people in your life is it keeps you very well rounded from a variety of different perspectives. So you're, you're constantly in touch with someone that's a little bit further than you. You're in touch with someone that's, that's kind of walking hand in hand with you and you're in touch with somebody that, that you're pouring into. And uh, if you're wise, you'll learn a lot from all three different vantage points. Um, you'll be able to offer a lot and give a lot to all three vantage points. And two things to note. Uh, one, don't always think in terms of chronological age. Uh, don't think that the person that's your plus has to be 15 years older than you and that your peer has to be the same age and that the minus has to be younger. Uh, this has more to do with experience this has more to do with, with where you're headed. You know, I, I mentioned Drew Hanlon of Pure Sweat Basketball earlier. You know, I'm 15 years older than Drew, yet he has served as a mentor to me in a variety of different capacities. He's been my plus uh, for certain areas, even though I'm older than him. Um, so don't think just as, as far as, as age. And then the other thing is uh, you're not signing folks to a lifetime contract. Uh, people will come and go in your life all of the time. So somebody may serve as your plus for six months and then you move on to somebody else or it's no longer a good fit. Um, and, and you can have multiple in each as well. But I, I think it's really, really important uh, to really round that out and think of mentorship from different vantage points, not always just somebody that, that you think of as older and wiser.